Now, I know that I said I never really watched Goosebumps as a kid, but there was one episode I remember catching glimpses of here and there. It easily has become one of my favorite episodes. Does anybody remember Goosebumps Trilogy Part 1? So this episode begins with a creepy town at night. A pretty normal opening to any Goosebumps episode. Then some dude that looks like he's rubbed Vaseline all over his face talks about his town being open and then laughs, revealing that the town is a miniature. The next morning, we follow a girl named Jessica, who's listening to a song on her Walkman about money, basically summing up her entire character in a couple lyrics. I'm way up there. We get to a yard sale where two siblings, Todd and Matthew, are selling stupid baseball cards. The boys hide the baseball cards once Jessica gets there just to take them back out when she tries to buy the desk they're using for $20. Matthew tells her that the card she wants is in mint condition, but she's only willing to pay $2 for it then swindles him when he doesn't have change for a 20. I mean, seriously, who does? The only other bill she has is a dollar, and he reluctantly lets her have the card for the dollar. After that, we get to her room, where she has a laptop with a weird CG screen of the stock market or whatever, and a bunch of charts and diagrams on the walls. Jessica's brother Sam comes into the room asking for money for their parents' anniversary gift, and she promptly tells him to fuck off. Then mom comes in and tells her greedy ass to fuck off and sweep the attic, which is really weird because it's a dirty ass attic anyway, so who really cares if it's swept or not? There's still a bunch of shit up there. She notices the miniature town and immediately thinks about making money on it. She calls her mom on her cell phone even though they're in the same house. We cut to that sweaty guy from earlier who laughs without moving his mouth. It's Jessica, can you come up here? <laughs> After an exchange with her mother, she gets sucked into the town when she notices the telephone booth is ringing. She gets on the phone and it's that sweaty guy who's known as Carl with a K. He says something creepy about business opportunities and hangs up. She bumps into Carl who's not looking sweaty anymore. He tells her he wants to make her a proposition she can't refuse, and tells her she should run a lemonade stand to make him money. Jessica tells him he's full of shit, but he eventually convinces her. Carl goes over to a thermostat and turns up the heat, making him fucking sweaty again. After what looks like a commercial break would have been, Jessica gets her first customer almost immediately. Obviously, she loves the lemonade and pays them $3 for two more cups. Their second customer walks by and says, A little something to wet the whistle if I might. I have no clue what that means in this weird, sweaty miniature town. Nor do I want to know. One more customer comes by, and they give Jessica the idea to charge even more, which her greedy ass gladly agrees to. The next scene is the girls making sales with a shitload of customers tearing each other apart for a cup of that cocaine-infused lemonade. Jessica absolutely loses it and hides the rest of the lemonade under the table, tells the addicts that there isn't any lemonade left, and she'll give the last cup to the highest bidder. This is so ridiculous. People go nuts and start bidding money like crazy. $10, $20, someone even bids 100 and then the pitcher tips over and spills the rest of the lemonade onto the ground. The customers are obviously upset and they call her a greedy little pig, transforms into a pig, and is chased by the now angry mob. Jessica falls into mud, Jessica falls into mud, and the mob catches up to her. She releases all the money back into the crowd, she runs into the phone booth and tries calling her cell phone while the people are surrounding the booth. Sam in the real world hears her phone ringing, picks it up in the nick of time before she's killed, and turn into bacon. He helps her throw out the miniature and she gives him 50 bucks for the anniversary present. And also so he doesn't take the miniature for himself and fuck around with Carl. Later that night, Todd and Matthew come by the miniature on the street and they take it home. Why these two like middle schoolers are in the middle of the road at night? I have no idea. With the episode ending on Carl's sweaty ass face saying, No more Mr. Nice Guy. Whatever the hell that's supposed to mean. With that said, there's two other parts to the series, so tune in whenever I get around to talking about those. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.